Hey guys, Raid Zero AU, and uh, welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is episode number 11, and I think we're going to uh, look at the small vessel today. You'll see I've got quite a bit of this, um, the footprint or the, the foundation done. I've just got a little section over there left to do, and then that's that done. I've added the, um, added the turret onto the... Um, second tower there uh, put the lights around it and the elevator block in it uh, or blocks in it I've filled out the tomatoes over in our farming uh, just in the just in here I've just got this crafting some items and got some Gatling guns so I filled out our oh, we've got heaps of tomatoes here pick them At this uh, stage where we're still building and uh, we're going to want more of these growing pots. I might go into that next uh, video because we'll do a bit more um, construction in, on the base in the next video. But uh, you need spoiled food for it. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. Once you've got some farming up and running, basically the easiest way is uh, you just pick the stuff, leave it either in your inventory or put it in the food processor and leave it there and it will just uh, go bad after a while and become this spoiled food uh, and then with the spoiled food uh, four rock dust and five purified water you can make nutrient solution which is this stuff here and you need that you need one of those you need two fibers uh, actually we're a bit short on fiber at the moment need to go collect some I'll do that off camera and you need four metal plates which we don't have in here at the moment but that's okay um, the other thing you can do which I've also done is when I've been out and about if I see any plants and I've got room in my inventory things like um, these cobra leaves have a perish time anything that's got a perish time so cobra leaves um, those corn dogs the aloe vera any of those sort of things um, you know just pick them up bring them back chuck them in your food processor and just let them go bad and uh, that way you you'll have the stuff you need to make nutrient solution so alternatively you do get um, waste, wasted food or spoiled food um, off the plant monsters uh, which look like walking flowers uh, to be honest, I haven't really seen many of those in this playthrough, so I uh, might see if I can find one for you, so, so I can at least show you what it looks like. Uh, now, the reason, reason I put those in there was I've still got a bit of meat here, and I want to make, I want to turn that into the canned food, so I do need some those so we got we got heaps of heaps of plates so actually we'll take that lot we'll take we'll take half of that lot there yeah, chuck it in there all right so for the canned meat we need one raw meat one tomato five purified water purified water is really easy to come by um, basically you just need these water jugs which the uh, water uh, generator is is producing um, and basically you turn those into um, purified water in the constructor and you get something like 50 per jug or something like that something ridiculous and you need one metal plate so how many meat did I put in there five so then we'll craft those and then basically we will let the rest of the tomatoes go um, become spoiled. We might as well eat that one while I was crafting those. So I think I've crafted um, just about everything I need for the small vessel. So you need a small vessel starter. Um, that takes, so we'll go to the constructor. So and we'll just put it on 
small vessel only. So you need you need to produce a core, um, so you can then produce a. I don't know why it doesn't show you. Why doesn't it show you the small vessel starter in the blocks? Why do I have? You shouldn't have to go to all. It should show you the actual starter block. Anyway, little gripe there, little complaint. Um, so small stuff. Uh, small vessel starter so we need eight steel blocks and one core so steel blocks easy enough to come by two metal plates so 16 metal plates and then so you craft your core which needs all of those items and then you craft your, your starter um, we need an RCS and we need to make sure it's one for the small vessel you need at least one RCS I'm putting two on there because I want it to be a little bit more maneuverable um, you need you're going to need at least three directional thrusters uh one for the front uh one to push you backwards one to push you on each side i'm putting two at the front and two on each side um just because i've got a i've got a uh, image in my head of what i want to build but we'll see how we go a couple of spotlight cubes not necessary but helps just lights things up uh you need a generator you need a cockpit. I've gone with cockpit four in this case, just because uh, I like the looks of it for a um, small vessel. Some landing gear. Uh, this becomes more important when you're trying to um, dock with a capital vessel. Uh, but certainly landing gear just looks nice as well. Uh, I'm going with armoured thrusters only because I've got them available, but you need, a, uh, you need at least one main thruster. I'm going overboard here. I've got four of them. Uh, two fuel tanks yeah once again I'm just uh, doubled up on that just for um, a bit of redundancy in the build uh, same with the O2 tanks uh, remembering that all these cockpits are airtight so if you don't have oxygen tanks on your vessel you're going to be using this oxygen down down here um, through your helmet type thing and some steel blocks so We'll see how we go. Let's get started. So as you can see, we've got a decent area out here to uh, to build on. Um, yeah. So, first thing we're going to want to do. Oh, I made some uh, Carve coffee as well, which gives you, as you see there, 200 stamina. Uh, which is great when you're running and your stamina gets low uh, to have that in your hot bar and just uh, drink some uh, so we're going to want that we're going to want that and we're going to want those to start with so first of all you just want to place down your um, your starter block there we go and you always see that there's this arrow here which points in the direction that effectively it's supposed to go so and then we want to uh, place our oh, yeah. So first of all, just want to even it out. It's that. So as I said, I got a bit of a thought as to what I want to build. But I'm still winging it a little bit, so we'll see how we go with this. Okay, so... What I want to try and do is I want to try and do like a bit of a swept, swept wing design. Uh, so... Have we got those Gatling guns yet? We should have. I got two Gatling guns, that'll do. That'll do for starters. Uh, two Gatling guns. Uh, let's put down, uh, let's put in here the generator as well. Just gonna want to set that up. And let's just extend these blocks out a little bit. Just bring it at the back here just to so we, we know what we're working with. Alright, Gatling guns. Uh, can I get those in there? So I want 
Мане. Мане. Alright. Now. Just trying to think how am I going to do this. Um... Let's start putting some blocks in. So I want this to be swept forward, but I want that. So we've got that, we've got one on the side. Could be a wedge there. Wedge there. Okay. Then let's start so we don't want one there. That's gonna be a wedge as well. Yeah, like that. So I want this to be four wedges out, so let's see. So that's one, two, three. Four. I'm gonna we'll stick the wedges in there. Yeah. Is that too big? Maybe. Yeah, probably not. It's going to be a big target for something, but hey, what the hell? Ah, so what I want now is. That one. Rotated around. Like that. Yep. I want it to come down three. Put another wedge in here. We'll have a look in a minute with the drone. So that's going to be all right. So that can go there. So that's going to be an engine just there, so that one can come out there. Alright. Let's just go up at it. <laughs> well, you know what? That doesn't... It doesn't look too big. I thought, oh, maybe that's a bit too big. But I think once we add everything on it, the idea will be that basically I'll have 
another Gatling gun on it running on each side of the cockpit here and then I'll have a couple of other weapons here the um, directional thrusters will be here and here we'll have obviously the four main thrusters here and then yeah, everything's repeated on the other side so hmm all right well, let's see how we go then just repeat that on the other side the only thing I would have liked would have been to have done but I don't think it's possible no would have been to be able to do them with like um, slanted blocks I don't know I'll do this as a, just a basic template and I'll have a play around maybe off camera and see if um, see if there's any way of doing that so go back one two and one, two and this one okay so this one needs to be a wedge not that way not that way no I'll get it right in a minute why can't I get this right Jesus, can I get that right? What I want it to do is to be like that, but on this side. It's not that hard, surely. Obviously it is, for me, anyway. That's not it. Alright, so I need to... Flip it in that axis. Let's see. No. Then maybe flip it in that axis. That's it. Cool. Sorry, guys. That must have been painful watching me do that. <laughs> Four, isn't it? One, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh, here we go again. Oh no, that's okay. Kept its orientation. And then. That. That one comes down to three. Three. Then we have a slant and then one to okay. wedge going in there and then one two there's the timer 
All right, something's out. Ah, oh, no, it's not. Right. Let me put in there. <laughs> Two RCSs in there. It'll all be cleaned up as well, guys. So I'm just placing everything at the moment. Um, place that. side them want is these wings are going to be um, double thickness but how do I want to do those uh, we'll do that from two. Yep. Okay. Like that. Oh, do I need them to actually all be double thickness? Possibly not. Yeah, let's go with it for the moment. Now, what I want here... Part the re partly the reason being that we want uh, to make sure that everything is protected from shooty things. It's a technical term. Go there. We can go there. Uh, 
Alright. I'll smooth some of this stuff out. Um, probably this stuff here, the whole wing doesn't need to be double thickness, probably. Maybe. I'll tell you what, let's put a... Put a fuel tank in. Uh, reason being, I can always break these down and then um, remake them. And I put an oxygen in. We got any oxygen? No. We got some oxygen over in here. Uh, It's a start. That's all I'll say at this stage. So, it's definitely a start. But, it's not quite right yet. It's uh, still just a basic, almost like a basic shell at the moment. Alright, let's put some fuel in it. Let's take it for a test drive and just see how it, um, how it performs as it is. Might be too responsive with the two RCS. So, um, T to enter the cockpit as usual with a um, with a small vessel. Basically, the um, most of the controls are exactly the same. So, V to Y to power up, V to um, go to external view. Press the Alt key once, and then you can scroll out. Uh, which we've got, we've got plenty of power. Uh, press it again and you you're in the thing um, oh shit this isn't going to work is it and you guys will be going what is he doing it's not going to work because I've got no up or down I'm thinking about see this will work going that way but there's no way I can lift or descend ah oh, that was a major oversight all right, let's go. <laughs> See if we can't fix that. Uh, all right, small vessel. Probably only need one for one each way. We just need some cables. Cables was it three each one? Yeah. How many pipes have we got? We got five pipes, so we need another five pipes as well. All right, five pipes. Sorry, guys, that's a huge oversight by me. Probably when you first saw the four um, thrusters, you thought, oh, yeah, two at the back, one up, one down. Um, yeah, but that's yeah, it was never the plan. So, uh, cables, cables, cables. We've got enough cables. Metal components, eight. Yeah, we've got heaps of those. Electronics, yeah, heaps of those. Motors, yeah, we've got enough. Right, just make two more of these. Shove those in. I did go off and mine a whole heap of, um, of ore. Uh, magnesium ore. What is it? There we go. Magnesium ore here. So, what I should do is once it's done low, hang on. How many did it make? One. What are we missing? Ah, one motor. Alright. Can we just make a motor? We should have everything. And now we just need some more cables. Okay. And that should be everything we need. There we go. Alright. Once it's done that, what I then want it to do is I want it to continue making magnesium powder. Uh, five, that's... Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. Let's go sort this out. Sorry guys, video's running on a bit here. Um, with some of these build ones it tends to because um, CRCS. But, um, so it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Not really left myself a spot to put these in. I suppose I could go. Yeah, they can go here. So that one needs to be broken out so that I can put the one in facing downwards and just hit the tab key because I'm trying to rush for you guys now. Sorry guys. Okay, so... What I need is I need that to rotate. Yeah, it can rotate that way. Like that. Now... One can go like that. All right, now we should be good. Let's give it a, just a quick try. All right, so space to lift. I probably will add extra ones here. Uh, let's just zoom out a little bit more. Actually, let's just have a look at it. Oh. Yeah, to so kind of see what I'm aiming for, but um, it's not quite there yet. Not quite there. It's looking all right though. It's looking okay. So I could probably extend the uh, the back engines back one, and then uh, that gives me a bit more room. So steering with the mouse, uh, to press alt again, steering with the mouse, as you can see, uh, Q and E does roll, rolls, so, that, has a bit of inertia with it, so, and of course we've got our uh, guns up there. I just need to. I've got no ammo at the moment. So here's the tight back part of the Titan that we were looking at the other day, or in the other video. And then we'll just come flying over here. So it's at the moment it's a basic um, small vessel. Um, I will keep working on it because I don't know I kind of I think the design is okay I think the design that's something's a uh, miss there yeah the wings are uneven <laughs> I've taken the uh, left hand wing back one too many that's all right easy fixed easy fixed so that's what happens when you do things uh the top of your head so that's okay it's a functioning small vessel now so and that's all we need that's all we need now you don't need to use main thrusters for um for the up and down you can just use your um your maneuverable maneuvering uh, thrusters but I tend to use the uh, main ones don't know why but that's what I tend to do so all right all right it's a start on the small vessel let's put it that way so then we'll leave the uh, video there because uh, as I said it's run on a little bit I uh, hope you enjoyed what you've watched if you have please leave a like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero AU, signing out.